Let's start by requiring the Axios library, which is a promise-based HTTP client for the browser and Node.js. It's great for making asynchronous HTTP requests to REST endpoints. Here we're retrieving our API base URL and API key from environment variables. Environment variables are used to keep sensitive information out of our code base and can be set in our server's environment or through a env file during development. Now we're ready to use these environment variables to configure our API call, ensuring our credentials aren't exposed in the code itself, which is a crucial security practice. We're going to make a GET request using Axios to the data endpoint. Note how we use template literals to include the API underscore base underscore URL variable in the URL string. In the headers object, we're including an authorization header. This header uses the bearer schema, followed by our API key to authenticate the request. This closes our configuration object for the Axios request. If the request is successful, we receive a response, which we then log to the console. The response object includes a lot of information but we're specifically interested in response data which contains the data we want. If the request fails for any reason, we catch the error and log it to the console. This helps us debug issues that may occur during the API call, like network problems or authorization errors.